The big insight is to recognize that this is a business. It's an organized business. At the confluence of poverty and crime is the human trafficking business. It has distinct stages as any business would. It has a supply chain. It has a transfer point. It has an end use point. And most importantly of all, it has customers. So the business would not be a business if there weren't customers who express the demand. And once the demand exists, then literally the economic actors show up who will fulfill that demand. And in this particular case, they do that through coercion, violence, and other criminal activities. Most of the not-for-profit activity and the NGO activity is focused on rehabilitating victims. And let me be clear, the victims deserve attention. They have seen the dark underbelly of human society. They have experienced some of the worst forms of one human inflicting pain on another human. And, and so they, they deserve the attention that they get. But if your objective is to root out the problem, then it is inconceivable that you can address the problem without addressing the demand. It is not just a question of only the child prostitution. It's a question of, look at the factors that you, come, you have. But the repercussions of what's happening to you is not even one-tenth of what this particular traumatized child will go through. What we need to do is to create this social structure where, number one, there's less and less demand for this. And that takes care of these guys because they won't waste their time on something that doesn't sell. They'll go find something else that sells, number one. Number two, we need to create an enforcement structure that makes it extremely painful when they get caught. Thank you.